So I'm here at the Navi base in <laughs> Kiev, Ukraine. Hey. Yesterday you won the out of the best of four tournament where you ended up losing three to two against Fnatic in the fight, or so to speak, in the last match. All in all, how would you say the tournament went for you guys? Looking at the ten maps that you won, uh, the one you tied, and the four that you lost. Uh, we got two goals uh, on that championship. Uh, mm, uh, maybe three. Uh, first of all, we uh, wanted to okay. won this tournament, of course. Uh, then uh, to beat Fnedi, or to beat SK, and uh, to won against uh, United. And we did it, and it's it, it's great. Do you feel that Fnatic got some revenge, uh, winning 3-2, comparing that they they lost to you guys in the Extreme Masters final? Uh, yep, uh, I, I guess it was uh, some kind of revenge, as uh, they told me yesterday. And But uh, uh, also I can say that it's not really a um, good final was, because uh, we just won the first map and uh, we figured that we won uh, the tournament though. And uh, after that, we just can't play uh, so hard as we can. You seem to have a pretty good relationship with the uh, Fnatic. Do you, find, listen, do you find it important to have a good relationship with the teams you play in the oh, tournament? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I well, think it's very important for all the teams in professional and average team in the community. Because first of all, it's... Uh, and uh, this thing is connecting, connecting also uh, the teams, the managers, people, also the fans. So it's, I think it's the main point that we have the good relationship. Does it mean something special to win a, a tournament in the capital of your home country? Uh, it's very great uh, because uh, here in Kiev uh, we have a lot of fans. Um, these uh, three days, uh, about uh, 1,000 uh, people uh, were watching uh, how we're playing. Uh, so um, we are, we were confident in it ourselves, uh, and we have uh, good motivation to win this tournament. Tell us a bit about how important it is to to live together and train together, preparing for such a major tournament like Extreme Masters, where you have been living here, you have been playing next to each other. How important is that for a team? Uh, I think that it's very important because uh, when you live together uh, you can uh, know uh, a bit... Uh, uh, a bit uh, closer. closer to each other. Uh, so, um, at in-game situations uh, you can uh, oh, believe uh, that uh, each other more, I think. Yep, yep. Because we have uh, more time to spend together. We are chilling with each other. We are having like a break. We are going to the gym. So I think it's one of the best way to improve your in-game and also uh, out-game communications. There's a guy here asking if you come up with your own tactics or how do you create tactics? Do you copy some moves from other teams or how do you make your tactics? Uh, must, must of all, uh, we uh, created uh, tactics by m our own, uh, but sometimes uh, they are based on some moves or of other teams. But mostly uh, they are created by Zeus. There's also this other guy here asking if it's hard to stay focused when you use, lose a lot of rounds. Like in Extreme Masters, you can take a timeout. Is that a, is that important for a game? Um, the main point is that the not all tournaments have the timeout thing. Uh, so we we need to concentrate to talk to each other. Uh, we make it this one during the echo rounds. Uh, as you can see, the, during the echo rounds we are staying on the base or just not doing anything. And in this time right now we are talking with each other, try to handle up the situation and make some make some sort of uh, oh. <laughs> after yesterday I'm just wasted. Well. <laughs>